Hi, Dr. Mano. I found a very, very impossibly difficult problem. Could you think you could help me solve it? Every problem for you, young lady, is impossibly difficult, but come around and we'll take a look at it. The first thing we want to do here, it says to find the stereochemistry. This is a hard problem. I'll give you that. For once, I'm agreeing with you. This is difficult. The first thing I want to do here is to put a little star on all the centers that are chiral. We have a chiral carbon here, I have a chiral carbon here, and I have a chiral carbon here. So I hope you can see that from the beginning, that there are three chiral centers and each one would be either R or S. Now, the trick to the problem is I'm going to rewrite this. Now, this methyl group is coming out of the blackboard and this methyl group is going into the blackboard and this is going down. So why don't I just rewrite it, that's the gimmick, and I put this going in, this is going out, so it's a wedge, and I'll just keep this going down, down means it would be a dash. So you have to first do this. Now the first thing we do is let's go to this carbon right here, and I'll go off to the side, that's going as a wedge, as a dash, and then I'll put the wedge, that's the H. You got this group going up, I'll call this R1, and you got this path going this way, is R2. The OH is one, the H is four. Now, which path is worth more? This, this is a CH2, but this is a C to a branch. So that is number two, hence this is three. You connect one to two, it looks like an R, but because there's a wedge on four, that means it would be an S. So we got the configuration as an S on that carbon right there. Now let's go to the one down here. And as you can see, I'll do it over here. You have this is going out of the blackboard. So I, I put it like this, like we have here, this is this. Then we have this path going up. Then we have this path going to the right. I'll call this R1. And the path going to the left is R2. Now, the first priority group is the R1 because that's a carbon going to an O. If you go up with the hook, it's a CH2 and then a branch. Where if you go this way, CH2, CH2. So this would be two. This would be three and the methyl would be four. So it looks like an S, but because there's a wedge, you switch your thoughts, that means that this would be an R. The last one, what do we see? That conforms to this one. So we have a methyl going in the back, then we have this group, R1, then we have the little hook going up, and then off to the side, we have R2. Well, if you go this way, that's a methyl. I'm going to call that, that's the fourth group. You have a CH2 this way, CH2 this way, CH2 this way. This CH2 goes into an O. So that's going to be the first group of priority. The second group of priority, we got to be a little careful. We have a CH2 going to a branch. So that would be two, and the other one would be three. So I can go from one to two by jumping over four. Four is a dash, so that's in the correct position, and that's going to be an S configuration. So we're going to get an S, R, and an S. All right, I hope that gives you some clarity on how to do a problem of complexity in a bicyclo. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.